This is Robin Campbell at Deer Country. Today we're going to walk through changing a 1745 from corn to beans or eight rows to planting 15 rows. This would be the same procedure for any John Deere split row planter like a 1790 or 1795. It's very common when trying to change rows to go into the four row planter button and change the split row configuration to single row when switching between corn and beans. After your planter is initially set up, there should not be any reason to go into the four row planter button during normal configuration or switching crops. The correct button to press is the arrow pointing at the little seed, the third button down on the right of your main planter page. Here you can see I have a checkbox at the bottom for eight rows or 15. If I wanted to plant corn with Promax 40 discs on 15 inch spacing, 15 rows, I would just select 15 and have it update. I can select it back to eight. That's gonna change my working width. If I wanted to plant soybeans, I can select crop at the top and select soybeans. Depending on your features, it's gonna prompt you to change your working width. And now I'm set up for planting 15 rows of soybeans. If I wanted to plant eight rows, I could just select eight rows. It's as simple as that. You only have to go into the seedling button and make sure the proper crop is selected, the proper seed disc, and the number of rows planted. You'll see that I'll have my soybean rates are all there that I had pre-programmed in. And if I switch it back to corn, my corn rates are all there. If you do happen to change your configuration, if you're working with a split row planner, the split information should always be the total number of rows on your planner and the overall spacing between all the rows on the left-hand side. And the split information would be your 30 inch rows or your, your corn rows more likely. The planner is always considered 15 rows. So when we're planting corn with this planner, we're working with rows one, three, five, seven, et cetera. If it throws an alarm for row 12, when we're using this planner, something is not configured properly because we don't have a row 12 that should be operating right now. And likewise, we won't ever get a error for row eight when we're planting corn, even though our last row would be considered the eighth corn row. It's going to alarm that there's a problem on row 15 and that would be the very last row of the planner, and that's a 30 inch row. If this configuration does get messed up, you do have to put it back and switch it so that it knows it's on a split row configuration. It should say 15 rows, 15 inch. What will happen often is it gets set on single row. This information will get changed to eight row, 30 inch. That is incorrect. It's not going to know what to do with the extra sensors. I need to put it back on split row. This is a 15 row planner. If you're working with a 1790 or 1795, it might be a 23 row or a 24, 31 or a 32. So if we are working with a 1745, it has split rows. This would be the proper configuration for the frame, no matter what crop you're planting and no matter how many rows you're using. It's always going to be 15 rows at 15 inch and the splits is gonna be eight rows at 30. Now, very common after fixing that and putting it back would be what you see here that I just have one green bar underneath my population bars now for clutching. It loses the row configuration and we'll walk through resetting that now. So once you have your planner reconfigured and back to split row, 15 rows, 15 inch, eight row 30, or however it would be set up with your 1790, you're gonna come across the top to drives, select drive configuration, go to road control sections, and then we're gonna walk through this setup by pointing at the arrow at the dot. This was originally set up from the factory as four sections. I'm gonna reconfigure it as eight. Bumped my map there. As I start working through this, it's gonna ask me where section one is. It's gonna start row one, 
and I'm going to tell it it's ending row two, starting row three, ending row four, start row five, ending row six, start row seven. I need to end it with row seven, section five, row eight, end row nine, 10, and 11, 12, and 13, 14, and 15. Because we have an odd number of rows, one of those sections has to be just one row, and it needs to be a row that plants all the time. You can't set this up as, say, a 15 section. It might work when you're planting beans, but when you plant corn, you would have half of your sections not working, and the planter will not map properly. So those sections need to be set up that every section, whenever you're using the planter as a split row or a full planter, all the sections are always running. So that's why we'd set up row seven, which is a corn row, as its own section. When I hit the next button, we get a chance to preview the sections. And if we were planting corn, we would have eight rows of clutches. We'd have every single row of corn would clutch on its own. When we're planting beans, every two rows will be tied together except for row seven. I'm going to accept the setup. It'll give me this message. I'm going to hit the button in the top right corner. And I should see this message about planter disabled cycle power. This is proper. This is where we want to get to. And what we need to do now is cycle the key on the tractor. That's going to end my session of RDA, which I'll have to restart as soon as I get the tractor booted back up. But now we should see everything how we configured it. Again, this works for 1745s, 1780s, 1785s, 1790s, 1795s. Any John Deere splitter planter that is Seed Star 2, Seed Star XP is going to have a same kind of configuration here. I'm going to reconnect my remote display access session. So you can see the screen. I'm going to click accept. I can set that up later, update my track spacing. Now you can see I have my clutch sections exactly how I'd configured them before. My planner is a split row, 15 rows, 15 inch. If I go into my seed button, I've got to set this back up how I want it. But at corn, I'm going to select eight rows instead. Once update to 20 feet, come back, and I have eight population bars. Those are my eight rows of corn. And you can see here at the center what would be row seven or the fourth row of corn has a clutch all on its own. Whenever you're setting up those clutch sections, it's important to remember this planner only has one drive section, but if you have a 1790 or 1795, you cannot have a row section or clutch section cross over the center line of the planner. So you're gonna have a drive shaft for your variable rate drives, and you're gonna have so many rows associated with the left and so many rows associated with the right. You cannot have a section cross over that center line or else it also will not map properly. So you need to keep it that you have so many rows to the center. So that often means that when we're setting up a, say, 1790, that's a 12 row, 23 row, we'll have row 11 often all on its own. And that would be one of your corn rows. If you're setting up a 24 row or a 32 row planner, you're just going to have it set up, say, as like a 12 row planner or 12 section planner. And every two rows will be paired together. So when you go to section one, it would be rows one and two. Section two would be three and four. Very easy flows through there. It's the odd number, odd number of rows planners that are a little bit harder to figure out the configuration. But this would get you set back up on your 1745 if you happen to get in and change a frame configuration. So again, if we go into the four row planner button, this planner, no matter what, is always a split row planner, 15 row, 15 inch. The splits is eight rows, 30 inch. We don't need to change anything on this page once the planner is delivered and set up. The only place you might go to change anything would be into your sensors. Where you need to go to change crop would be into the third button down. It's a picture of an arrow pointed up at a little seed, and you're going to change your rows planted down at the bottom between 8 and 15, or you can change your crop up at the top and have it pre-selected to do that for you. Thanks for watching.